talk order. to them a little bit as well. But yeah. first, we're going to talk to Lori Terry, the produce mom. Hello. You, hey, produce mama. What's you up? helped us okay. understand the misunderstood turnip just not that long ago. Right. And now you're turning your attention to the onion. V the Vidalia, Vidalia, Vidalia onion. Specifically. specifically. Okay. Yes. Okay. You know, uh, chefs, uh, there's a famous line from Chef Bobby Flay, Vidalia onions aren't just the only um, they aren't just famous onions, they are the only famous onions. And that's true. It's, mm. it's one of the only uh, domestically grown onions that's dema demanded around the world. Huh. Um, and the reason that is, they, they are only grown in Georgia, southeast Georgia to be specific. That's the Vidalia growing region. I just got back from there and had the opportunity to tour it. What makes Vidalia onions different primarily is the soil. There's a very low sulfur content in the soil in Georgia. Hmm. Sulfur in your mm -hmm. soil, which is naturally occurring, right. is what makes your onions spicy. Ah. So when they're grown with, in a low sulfur region such as Vidalia, mm -hmm. the result is a sweet onion. Your Vidalia okay. onions. Yes. There you go. E any oh. guesses how okay. many pounds oh. of yes. fresh onions the average American consumer uh, intakes per year? Per year? Uh, two, 15 pounds. Close. A little bit higher, though. 20. 18.8. 18.8. Well, <laughs> oh, no. because we don't, we think, well, I don't eat onions that often, but we incorporate onions right. into mm -hmm. things. I mean, oh, salsa, yeah. all sorts of, if I mean. You're, if you're a home stuff. cook, you more than likely are working with onions. So, okay. um, one thing I'm going to show you how to do today, this is the most popular way Vidalia onions are prepared in the Vidalia Valley region. Okay. okay. And that's that the way is, to do it at home, and that's the yes. way you do it. And so, really, all you need is just, it's very simple. You just chop off the top. And then you're going to peel off the outer layer so that you're left with an onion that looks like this. How many Keep layers deep do you want to go when you're peeling oh, just, the onion? Oh, just one. Just one? Yeah, okay. you can just uh, start it with a little slice. They have a lot of layers. They're like And then just peel it off. Tracy, you are like an onion. So like just, the first, uh, just the first <laughs> layer is all that needs to come Everybody off. Like parfait. Okay. Okay. Let's check it. Yeah, no problem. Now, to hollow it out, because we're going to do a roasted onion, mm. Okay. You can use an apple core, mm -hmm. but I love using my grapefruit spoon. I don't necessarily <laughs> love grapefruit, but I love my grapefruit I spoon. Know, I didn't know there was. It is. Uh, it's a serrated spoon. <laughs> okay. Okay. And you just take it around. Or use that spoon that got caught uh -huh. in the uh, I mean, look at how much. Yes. <laughs> it's a little rough. With the edges yeah. on it. <laughs> Make your own grapefruit spoon. We'll That's do that right. later. You need corn so, solution. All the way around, okay. and you can easily core it out. It takes no time oh, at all. Oh, you can. Okay. Okay. And then the next step is you want to slice it down just a little bit. So you're making wedges like one inch down the sides. And then finally, this is so easy, just take some butter, incorporate it into the grooves that you created oh. with the slices. So you're making the cracks and then you're spackling the cracks with butter. Yeah. That's right. right. Yes. Sealing them back up. There you go. A bouillon cube is how they oh. season it. Okay. Really? A little bit of garlic seasoning. Is that a beef bouillon cube? Or beef bouillon, bouillon cube. See, now I'm starting yeah. to think French onion soup. Right? There you go. Yeah. Right. Okay, then. You wrap it up in foil, and you can do a whole tray of them, yeah. like we have here, and you can cool. just put it on cool. your grill, okay? Because okay. everyone's oh, grilling yeah. during Vidalia season. Now, if it's raining, mm -hmm. like it does in Indiana, <laughs> you can still <laughs> grill in the rain. Yeah. Yeah. Today, a little sprinkle. Just pop it in the oven. Like this okay. tray can go in the oven, 400 degrees for about 40 to. 50 minutes. It okay. depends on the size of your onion, of sure. course. Okay. This is what you want. You want it to be nice and soft. It almost, and this, I tell people this is like the health, my healthier take on a blooming onion. Sure. Because yeah, I see it's that. like a nice appetizer. Mm -hmm. And I love to serve it. I just discovered these products when I was in Vidalia. Vidalia Valley, we're going to talk about them in the second segment. This is their number one barbecue sauce. So oh. if, is uh, it vinegar based type uh, barbecue yeah, sauce? Yeah, it, well, and it has a, uh, it has a nice incorporation of Vidalia onions, of course. Okay. So oh, of course, onion on onion action. Yeah, but it's not too much. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, all right. All right. So, so if so anyone's brave enough to eat onions I don't know. at 9 a.m., <laughs> he'll, he'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> the guests that I have to interview coming up are going, oh, sorry, no, not guys. Him. I Trust know. me, actually, no. it's right. better than the. But they're cooked, so it's not as bad. It's not like you're taking a bite out of a raw one, because then that would be bad. Well, and they're Vidalias. Right. Oh, I like that sauce. How is it? It's good, isn't it? It's a very simple recipe, it's but um, did you send it to us or will you send it to us so we can put it up on the website? I will, okay. yes. Because people are going to want this. You know how you get rid of that, that um, onion bite? breath? How? Oh, fresh parsley, gnaw on that. Uh -huh. My grandma always gave us milk. Is there it's any? fresh parsley. It's parsley. This is what okay. gets rid of it. 
And then if you're a chef and you hate how your hands smell and you can't get that onion, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just rub them in Rumble onion lemon? or lemon the lemon juice, and that takes care oh, of it. Oh, that's great. Okay, so no, it, I thought it does. It tastes just, just for like show. makes me think of onion it's, soup. It usually is, yeah. but not not here. <laughs> what are we doing in the next segment then? We're going to talk about the uh, all the different condiments from Vidalia Valley. Oh, okay. I have three different ways to use them. Okay. okay great. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, more fun facts, more of fun course, facts. about right. the onions. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. And we're going to eat some more onion. Guys, coming up, a uh, film historian has details oh, on two up. Back in the kitchen with Lori Taylor, the produce mom, learning all things, not just onion, Vidalia onion. We learned in the first segment, if you missed it, you can watch it later on IndieStyle.tv. I didn't realize it was a specific geographic region. I oh, thought yeah. it was, I know it was a specific variety, but I mean, that's incredibly specific. Georgia with low sulfur content, right? That's right, yeah, and high rains, and then of course that southern care that there you, you can go. only exactly. get from Georgia farmers. Ideal yeah. conditions. <laughs> and you showed us uh, earlier, it's, it's a lot more versatile than just mincing and sautéing and throwing in other recipes. You right? can do a lot with Vidalias mm -hmm. because they don't, they're not spicy, they're sweet, you can even make desserts with them. Uh, what we're going to focus on in this segment, um, you know, naturally in farming there's a lot of products that don't make retail grade. Retail right. grade is like the pretty sure, stuff. Sure, yeah, exactly. The ideal size for consumers. It's yeah. nature, so you're going to get tiny onions, you're going right. to get super jumbo onions, you're going to have them with scratches and yeah, bruises. Yeah, physical blemishes, exactly. things like that. Doesn't reduce the, the flavor or the quality, just No, not, and they're the, still the loved, beloved children of the farmers, so there is a use for them, and that's what Vidalia Valley is all about. Okay. It's where um, uh, Vidalia onions um, are sent to be processed, mm -hmm. essentially, and okay. you have sauces, salad dressings, all sorts of different condiments. For all of our viewers today, we're going to demo a few recipes. Great. And uh, we have a pro uh, promo code for everyone. Nice. Produce Mom okay. is your promo code. Visit VidaliaValley.com. VidaliaValley.com. You can buy anything that we're demoing Produce today Mom. with awesome. a discount using nice. the Produce Mom code. I like a so, discount. These are perfect for parties. At this mm -hmm. time of year, tons of parties, graduations, yep. etc. The, and, and these sauces make it so simple. So this is just a, a really good appetizer dip okay. using the blackberry splash vinaigrette. So okay. blackberry salad dressing, All right. two blocks of cream cheese, oh. mm -hmm. one bottle of blackberry splash okay. vinaigrette, mm -hmm. blend it up, and it's one of the best cracker dips I've ever had. So well, it's great. And you said, you know, the graduation parties, things like that. There's also those spontaneous get-togethers right? where you're where like, you... oh, suddenly there's eight people in my backyard. Right. And the 15-minute host right here. Ready to go. Yes. I like that. There's yeah. your new show, the 15-minute yeah. host. It's fabulous. <laughs> okay. And then uh, more of a entree type mm -hmm. party, um, party entree would be meatballs. Everyone serves meatballs. This, Vidalia Valley, they, uh, all their products celebrate southern flavors. Mm -hmm. So mango horseradish dipping sauce. Oh, wow. Again, really easy. One mm -hmm. bottle of this, Okay. 24 ounces of ketchup, a oh. can of crushed pineapple, and then your meatballs. You can even make it super simple and use frozen oh, All right, meatballs. sure. Yeah, so, man, it is making it easier. Yes. Yourself. Okay. Now, one last thing, dessert. How do you, how do you put Vidalia yeah. products in dessert? Well, this... Is there, um, what is the other product you think of when you hear Georgia? Peaches. That's right. So this is Vidalia Onion Slow Burn Peach Hot Sauce. So it's their peach hot sauce. Slow burn, okay. And you just put this on ice cream. This is just plain vanilla ice cream. It's good on cinnamon ice cream, whatever you want. Hot sauce and I... Yes, but it's peach hot sauce and it's Vidalia <laughs> peach hot sauce. The interns are like, uh-huh, I yes. totally get that. I totally get that. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm just going to top it with some uh, canned diced peaches that sure. were in 100% juice. That's okay. the great thing about produce. All forms count, more matters. So <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> even if I you're putting it on top of ice cream. You're <laughs> whipping out show treatments. you got t-shirts, ready-made <laughs> slogans. Say that again. The great thing about produce, all forms count, more matters. All forms count. Yeah, more it doesn't matters. matter if it's fresh, frozen, canned, dried, or 100% juice. That's it counts. Fabulous. That's you. You you go and you visit these farms, and you get right. You know, we, we, everyone's talking farm to table, farm to table. That's great when you're at a restaurant and you're assuming that that's what's happening. But it's really different when you actually go and see oh. how much effort there is. I, what, what is in the process? I will never look at a Vidalia onion the same. Did I'm you? Telling you did you? Time. Was there? Is there something that surprised you? Did you have some misinformation in your head or, or a myth that got debunked because you were actually there? I just didn't understand. I just did not understand the magnitude mm -hmm. of this single product that's always grown, made in the USA. You right can't there. get a you can't get a Vidalia onion in another country. So mm -hmm. it's one of our most highly demanded export crops, which wow. is cool. You yeah. know, all that global business right, that is exactly. associated with agriculture. 
and the family was just awesome. I mean, and that's the great thing about farming. It's almost always, uh, you know, generations upon generations of a family mm -hmm. behind the product. So. And, and I like how, how versatile they're getting with it, uh, with, with the, with the oh, other yeah. portion. But all forms of farming, it, it's not glamorous. What is do you it? Mean? The, no, I mean farming. farming. It's, it's, oh no. no, it's like the hardest. The end. Uh, no, the yeah. end result. The quite end. glamorous. <laughs> you know, I, I, I grew up in asparagus here. Right? Like, oh, asparagus is always on the cover of books and glossy and no. lovely, and then it's like, oh man, it's, it's, a, it's, hard. it's a yeah, it's a no nonsense job, mm -hmm. and it's twenty four seven. Yep. 365. Yeah. Well, there are no days off. This season, right? Exactly. So, yep. where can people track down uh, more about you? Theproducemom.com. Mm -hmm. Learn more about these uh, wonderful sauces from Vidalia at vidaliavalley.com. Mm -hmm. And like I said, use pr promo code PRODUCEMOM, Produce Mom to save money. Get these sauces in your home. 15 minute host. The <laughs> interns are like, gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sh share the wealth here. Go ahead. Yeah. Go, see? There you go. Coming up, details to the newest Colts fan clubs and where you can sign up. I think the. Uh,